morning, everyone. And here's Joe. Call us Victor Echo One Bravo Whiskey Victor. Let me just shut the sound off here. There we go. What we're looking at this morning is the uh, the SPID X uh, over here. Um, it's just kind of running in the background there. And what I've installed today on the uh, bid X was the uh, tail scale. Now, I'm not sure if everyone is aware what tail scale is, but it um, provides an opportunity to have encrypted VPN type of connections to uh, any device that you have uh, on your local network uh, while you're away from home. So if you're at the local holiday, whatever it is, and you wanted to look at your SBIT X, or your ZBIT X in this case, then um, you would need something like uh, Tailscale, or you'd have to do some port forwarding and all that sort of stuff. But with um, Tailscale, which is free, it provides you, uh, I think, up to 100 connections and devices, uh, which is plenty, obviously. And it's a very simple install. It's one command. Uh, you go to tailscale.com, and if you haven't registered, you register it. And they'll give you a command to install it for Linux. And basically, you type in the command into a terminal on the ZBIT X. And I'm running an external terminal here on the ZBIT X, just so you can see it. And, um, you know, you type it in, and um, you wait for about uh, 30 seconds or a minute or so. And it'll go through its whole, whole routine and install the tail scale. And then you issue, uh, well, basically, you go, you go and log in at tail scale. And then... Um, you um, give a command, the sudo tail scale up. And then once you go to actually tail scale, and I don't know if I have it running in the background here. Yes, I do. Um, I can show you this because these uh, IPs and all that, these are all the devices that I have. But at the very bottom, you can see I have SBIT X and it's connected. And it, what, this, uh, what tail scale does is issue you a unique um, IP number. And uh, there it is right there. Uh, it's no problem in showing you that number because unless you belong to the the family of the SBIT X, uh, of my um, sorry tail scale, you can't get in, basically. So, but it makes me appear to the system that I am actually located um, uh, in my basement or wherever my device is, wherever my SBIT X or ZBIT X is. Um, but by typing in the URL um, uh, or the IP. And if you look down here, this is a Windows device, but uh, I'm running tail scale on it as well. And there's a little, oh, uh, just look at here. You see that little thing there? That's tail scale when it's running on Windows. And, you know, has all the information, but none of that stuff is going to work uh, without you having the, uh, uh, the, the connectivity to my system, which is already pre-done by, uh, by the install. So then you look at your devices. You can look at any one of your devices. And, um, you know, you can connect up to them. So everyone realizes there is a uh, remote built in. And uh, that uses the spidx.local. And that works. Uh, but that only works internally to your home network. You can't be um, at your friend's house and bring it up on the network without doing uh, a bunch of port forwarding on your router and all that sort of stuff. Tailscale avoids that completely. It allows you to run any server that you might be running in your own area, in your own network at home. So basically right now by me here, it looks exactly like the remote version because uh, it really is because that's the remote server, but I'm accessing it through Tailscale. So I'm going out to the world, all encrypted, coming back, and there you have it. And otherwise, everything is the same. If I turn the knob on, you can see it's got the knob or the dial, as you want to refer to it. Uh, I'll turn that off. Um, I'll go to the sound. And I can go around the 40 meter. You can see different. Um, that's would be normally FT8. Um, and he, of course, you realize that these are stackable four deep. Uh, even though right now there's a bug because as I'm clicking it, you don't see four. But for some reason or other, you do see it up here. But anyway, uh, it does work. So let me look around here. Boy, they're pushing the limits, are you? <laughs> Actually, I think that That's is the net on 255. Right. You're about an S7 to S8. Works very well. No problem whatsoever. So now uh, that's on working on a little mini PC here. I have it at the desk. Uh, so the next thing I'll have to try it is on uh, 
doing the same thing except um, just uh, using a browser on my laptop or something like that and see if it uh, will work as well. But it seems to work quite well. I mean, uh, let me look here and see if I go over to um, FT8 uh, and go 40 meters. And there's FT8. I turn the sound off, of course, uh, so we can get in the way. I'll bring this onto FT8 and put that there. Now we'll look to see if there's any decodes. But remember, every time that you um, uh, run any external devices, so you normally have to have uh, uh, the uh, DGU on. But in this case here, I should be able to run it just like FT8. Let's see if I get any decodes here. I'm just looking for some decodes, but I'm not getting at the moment. Do I have everything off here? Yeah, everything looks normal. Let me listen. Oh, it's on, four, four, it's on 40 meters. I forgot. Signals are quite weak this morning. So there it is. It's coming in now. Uh, if I went up to 20. Um, let me see. Let me see what happens on there. Yeah, I'm going to FD820. Yeah, 20 is a lot stronger right now. It's 11, about 11 o'clock. Sorry. It's about um, 9 o'clock this morning uh, here in the East Coast. And um, there we go. So, so there's the stuff coming in. And that's coming in. Uh, you know, it seems to be decoding fine. I'm not seeing any uh, unusual displays on it. So that's working very well uh, coming through a, an encrypted network, which thinks about home. That's the beauty of this. Um, so let me put the sound off. And go back to 40. There we go. And if I turn the sound on, that's the 40 hours on before with the uh, FT8. That's the net. Turn the sound on. If there's anybody. And I go to the lower side then, of course. For a while, so uh, uh, I don't know. It's probably all clouded up now, by now, and uh, it's not going to be as pretty a day. Yep. As Coming through uh, very clear. Having dreams of, and but that's the way that goes. That is going around the world, basically, out to the uh, the tail scale, and coming all the way back to my house on the internet. Um, here is the actual radio that's running it, and you can see um, they're on the same frequency, and it's seeing the same thing. And um, this is the external monitor uh, that I have hooked up to the um, to, to the back of the uh, the top of the um, ZBX. And you can see I'm running the ZBIT X there as well. Uh, and um, otherwise, you know, if I go here, of course, I can um, move the mouse around. Um, and you can bring up your various programs here because it, it's an operating system. I think it's the Debian var variation, a Raspbian version of, of Debian, whatever. So and I can bring that full size. And then you have a full-size screen here. I'll pull it back. So, there we go. Anyway, that was supposed to be a quick video, but I guess it lasted a little longer than I thought. Running tail scale on um, the ZBIT X. Uh, you have a great morning. The one BWV. Now, this is kind of a part two of the uh, video I just put out um, to do with the uh, tail scale. So, right now, I'm on a laptop. It's a little dark in here. Alexa, turn the lamp on. I was taking it off because the uh, the glare. But anyway, uh, just as really quick, you can see right now that I'm running a uh, ZBIT X. Um, I'm running a remote, which is nothing unusual, except that I am running it fully encrypted through a VPN called TailScale. And uh, that basically allows you to um, work anywhere in the world um, on virtually any device by just typing in the, the appropriate address. And so here it is here right now running live on 40 meters um, works very well good clear sound I've got it turned down and everything works like normal I can turn these things off uh, it's on full scale so just a quick demo on that part of uh, how it works very well running remote 
using tail scale, uh, which means it's basically uh, looking at my um, Z, uh, Z bit X, but it's going out to the world uh, in the VPN, uh, which is an encrypted uh, communication link, um, and then makes me part of um, a uh, worldwide internet uh, network, but it's a private network. In other words, I've got all my devices within this network. Um, so when I, when I actually call it up, um, it thinks that I'm actually sitting right beside the equipment that I'm accessing, even though I could be in downtown Chicago or whatever the case may be. So anyway, um, another add-on for the ZBIT-X uh, running tail scale. Thank you.